Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm very excited to have you in this channel. In this lecture, I will show you a polynomial reduction. Uh, I hope you will find it very exciting and will get a clear explanation uh, whether you whether you are a student or a teacher or a professional or just curious about the subject. So before we begin, uh, I, I hope you have subscribed my channel and press the bell button to have the latest updates uh, with our tutorials. Okay, let's dive into the subject. Uh, my name is Mohammad Shahrukh Islam. I will, I will teach you a polynomial reduction. So I will show independent set problem to set packing problem. That means we will use a, a black box of set packing problem and we'll try to solve independent set, set problem. Then this is how we can show that independent set problem is reducible to set packing problem. So let's dive into the definition first. What is independent set problem? Let me annotate. We are given a graph. We are given a graph G. Okay, this is the graph. V means the set of vertices. Set of vertices. And what is E? E is the set of edges. Set of edges. Okay. Okay. And a positive integer. We are also we are also given a positive in integer. The task is to determine whether there exists a set of at least k vertices in G. Okay. That that means do we we can create an independent set with at least k vertices in G or not. Okay. So such that no two vertices in the set are adjacent. That means there is no edge between them. So for example, I'm giving you an example. Let's say this is vertex A, this is vertex B, and this is vertex C. Okay. So we, let, let's say, uh, let's say we want to make an independent set of size 2. Okay. So how can we make it? Can we <clears throat> make it like this, B and C? This is a independent set, right? Because B and C don't have any edge between them. B and C don't have any edge between them. This is a this is an independent set, right? Another independent set is only A. Look at here. If you take A, you can take B and C, right? Because A, B and C are neighbors of A. That's why A is uh, alone a independent set. And BC is another solution, but which which set has uh, which set has uh, more cardinality? P comma C, right? So this is our answer. This is our answer, J, B and C. So I hope you have uh, understood the independent set problem. Uh, now, now let's dive into the set packing problem. What is the definition of set packing problem? Come on, let's dive into this given collection of sets okay collections of set we are given some sets sets have uh, elements in there and a positive integer the task is to determine whether there exists a subset of at least k sets from the collection such that no two sets in the subset have a common element what is the example let's create a, an example let's say we have a that means this is one two three and B, this is three, four, and C, this is four and five, okay? Suppose that the value of K is two, okay? We have to, uh, we have to try to make two say, okay, and we try to mix two sets such that they are, uh, they are, they have no common elements. Look at here, if you take, if you take A, and c a and c do a and c have any common element do a and c have any common element no this is empty set that means we can take a and c as our set right so yes this is a set packing of size two okay now we want to 
reduce our problem <coughs> to set packing problem, independent set problem to set packing problem. Suppose that we have, uh, we are given an instance of independent set problem. That means, uh, let's say this is vertex one, this is vertex two, this is vertex three. Okay. So to convert uh, an instance of independent set problem to set packing problem, we will uh, create set with the vertex and the elements of the sets, elements of the sets will be the edges. What does this mean? Look at here. What does this mean? For example, if we want to um, make a set with V1, let's say the name is SV1, okay? SV1 is a set. And what will be the elements of there? The elements will be the, the edges of V1. What is the edges of V1? V1 have an edge between V1 and V2. We can write it like this, V1, V2. This is an edge. And another edge is adjacent to V1 is V1 to V3. Okay, we have only two edge, two edges adjacent to adjacent to V incident to V1. So what is this? This is set of set of edges of V1. Okay, now what will be in SV2? Can you guess? Try, try it first. So SV2 will have uh, the the edges of V2. And I, we can see that there is only one edge between incident to V2. So we can write V1, V2. Okay. And SV3 will have V1 and V3. So I hope you have understood this transformation. Now let's re reduce the problem. We have uh, a lemma. What is the lemma? The lemma is there is a case size independent set. This should be a set. Case size independent set. Okay. If and only if there is a case size set packing. Okay. So if we have a case size independent set, then we will have a case size set packing. And on the other hand, if we have a case size set packing, then we will have a case size independent set. So what is the proof of this lemma? Let's try to understand. Okay, look at here. Suppose there exists an independent set, okay, of size at least k. Why we uh, I have written the keyword at least? Why why not at max? Because we all know that independent set is a maximization problem. And for a maximization problem, we want to uh, take the at least value, right? So I hope it, it makes sense now, at least, okay? So we are assuming that there is, a, there is an independent set of size at least k. The size may be or may not be more than k, no problem. But we are assuming there is at least a size independent set. That means no two vertices have a common edge. No two vertices are adjacent. That means they don't have any common edge. They don't have any common edge. So for they don't have any common edge means they don't have any common element in the set packing problems, right? I've written it here. So for each vertex belongs to I. I is the independent set. We pick, pick uh, set SV, the corresponding set, the corresponding set of the corresponding vertex. And as no vertices are adjacent, that means no vertices are adjacent. That means they don't have any common elements. That means no two sets have common element. So there is at least K sets that form a set packing. So if there is a uh, there is a uh, there is an independent set of size at least k, then we will have a set packing of size at least k. I hope you have understood. Then let's dive into into the right part. Suppose that there exists 
a set packing S of size at least K. So there are K sets. They don't have any common elements each other. So no two sets have common elements. So vertices corresponding those sets will form independent set because they will they won't have any common edge. They don't have they are not adjacent. That means they will form an independent set. So I hope you have understood this dilemma. Now let's go to the reduction. The reduction is a very straightforward. I hope you won't find it difficult to understand it. Suppose we have a black box of a set packing problem and we are given an instance of independent set. We want to solve this independent set problem we using the black box of the set packing problem solver. Okay. Construct the set system is as described that means we that means like this you are uh, you are given uh, an independent set problem instance you will have to make this instance this instance is input for set packing problem and this was input for what this is this was input for uh, independent set problem now construct the set system is as described Fit the set system S and the integer K into the set packing problem solver. We already have a set packing problem solver, right? We already have it. We already have it. Um, suppose this is black box. Mm. black box this is black box of set packing solver set packing solver okay and initially you are given independent set problem independent set uh, instance input instance input instance and first of all, you have to convert it to the input instance to set packing problem. Okay. Write it here. Input instance of set packing. Okay. So construct the set system as described. This is the blue color and fit the system. Uh, set system S and the integer K into the set packing problem solver. This is the black box. This is the black box. Then after what? After the set packing problem solver solves it in polynomial time, convert the output or solution instance to set packing problem into solution is instance of independent set problem. That means uh, if uh, we have uh, found the sets, we will have to take the corresponding vertices to get the independent set. That means we have got output instance output instance of set packing. Okay. Then after what after we have to make it output instance of output instance of independent set independent set okay so we have solved independent set problem with the set packing problem black box solver okay so this is the polynomial reduction we have uh, reduced independent set to set packing problem so what is the conclusion the conclusion is independent set is polynomially reducible to set packing problem uh, I want to give you another information that is set packing problem, set packing problem is at least as hard as independent set problem, independent set problem, set problem. So always keep in mind that the black box we are using is 
uh, is can be much harder. Why? Because we, we are using black box of it. So let's see, we have Y. We are using black box of X. Yep. And X is at least as hard as Y because we don't have, uh, we can solve Y in another uh, approach with a easier, uh, in, in an easier way. So Y can be uh, less hard. Okay. Y can be less hard. That means X is at least as hard as Y. So set packing problem is at least as hard as independent set problem. So I hope you under, you have understood this uh, conclusion. So that's it for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video, this lecture. If so, then uh, please give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe my channel. Also, uh, write your comments with your thoughts and share this video with your friends. And all the time you stay curious, you stay cur uh, cur creative and stay focused and keep learning, okay? Bye.